Are you having trouble managing all your online subscriptions? When and how each one needs to be paid? This Excel tool will make life easy. Hello everyone, in this video I will present our subscriptions management tool which is available to purchase from our online store using the link in the description below. With this Excel template you'll be able to take control of all your online subscriptions, see how and when each one needs to be renewed and how much they cost each month. So let's have a look. So here is our Excel uh, template. Everything is uh, located in one uh, spreadsheet. It's uh, very basic and at the same time very powerful tool. At the top we have some graphical and tabular uh, reports which we will uh, come back and review this at the end. We have our main table with all our subscription information and uh, on the right here we have some uh, ready-made filters to make it easier for you to filter and find the information you want very easily. So let's have a look at the main table first. The first section is all the basic information regarding each subscription. We have first column with the name of each of the of our subscriptions. Uh, these are these are all optional, by the way. Uh, what type of uh, subscription this is? Uh, URL link where you can uh, easily find and uh, log in into each uh, service. The date of our first uh, subscription, our initial sign up subscription. And this column here, which is for me, I find it very useful, is the method with which we are renewing each of the subscriptions. You see here it says PayPal, Revolut virtual card, credit card and so on. This menu here is a drop down list pulling data customized uh, information of all my subscription payment methods. This uh, menu uh, can be customized to whatever you want and uh, the way to customize these options is by going here on the Setup Payment Methods tab. Click on it. And it will bring up this uh, small easy table where I have written all my payment methods and an expiry date. This is uh, very helpful if one of my payment methods has expired, uh, the date will be highlighted so I can very easily go and find the specific subscription and renew my payment method. So for instance, I can see here that my Revolu card has uh, already expired. So going back to our uh, subscriptions table, I can very easily hear from the top filter out and uh, select only my Revolu card just to see which of my subscriptions use this payment method. Click on the Revolu card and I uh, can see the table is automatically filtered and it's showing me which of my subscriptions are using this payment method. So now very easily I can go into this um, uh, subscription uh, provider and update my payment method. If I want to remove the filters from the table, simply click this clear filter button here. So you can set up your own payment methods, enter the expiry date for each and use this column which I most definitely suggest to keep track of how each of your subscription is being renewed, which method you're using to renew each subscription. 
Now moving on into the most important section of the table. We have a column here named frequency with which we have to define how often each subscription is being renewed. We have it's a drop down menu. We have two options either monthly or annually. Annually means that we pay once a year at a specific month and monthly means that we pay every month. On the right under renewal month we have to select the month at which each subscription is to be renewed. In the case where we have selected annually we select the month to expect the subscription to be renewed and the specific day within that month. In the case where our subscriptions are monthly we pay every month in the renewal month selection, instead of selecting a specific month, we need to select the every month option on the 13th of every month. It is very important to get this right in order to get a clear and correct picture of our uh, payments. Select the frequency annually or monthly and the month, specific month in the case where we are paying annually or se select the option every month in the case where we are paying monthly. Next on the table is the actual amount we are paying for each subscription and under the status column we have uh, three options in the drop down uh, menu either active, cancelled or post. If we select either cancel or post, the table will stop counting the amount we pay each month. Now the next two columns are automatically calculated. The spreadsheet calculates the amounts. For example, the first subscription here, it's an annual subscription. I'm paying every March the amount of 79 euro. So it's once a year. So my annual cost for this subscription is 79 euro. And it also gives me my monthly cost, which is basically the annual divided by 12, 12 months in a year. For this subscription here, which is being paid every month, I'm paying 10 euro every month my monthly cost is the exact amount I'm paying every month and this is my annual cost for this subscription and you can see here at the top we have our totals annually I have uh, subscriptions totaling uh, somewhat a little bit more than 1300 a year which means that I have to find ways to make some savings and uh, reduce this cost and a monthly average of about 110 euro every month. This is an average because some subscriptions are being paid annually and some every month. Doesn't mean that every month I am paying 110 but in average throughout the year this is what my annual cost corresponds to a monthly cost. And uh, the last column, auto renewal, is basically for my information, for our information. We can only select yes or no. It's just to let us know that each specific subscription is being auto renewed or whether we have to go in and renew it ourselves manually. So after we fill in all the information of our uh, annual subscriptions, we have at the top uh, some basic reports. We have a pie chart showing all our major subscriptions. And from this we can see which ones are costing me the most. For instance, this is 19% of my total subscriptions. And it's my hosting subscription. And then it's 13% it's MailChimp and uh, Netflix. Netflix is costing me uh, quite a bit. In the middle here we have our total monthly subscriptions and uh, 
we have a clear picture each month how much we are paying this is the exact amount we are paying each month and it's calculating both the annual subscriptions and the monthly subscriptions for instance for January uh, I might have some annual subscriptions that are being paid specifically on January plus my monthly subscriptions who are being paid every month and on the right here we have a simple uh, graph chart showing the months and uh, how much you are paying each month and you can clearly see that in April I am spending the most so the last thing we need to go through is our filters here at the top right First I will go through them and then we'll see how they are being uh, used and uh, filter our uh, table. The first filter we have is uh, our payment method. We can simply click one of our payment methods and the table will uh, filter out itself to show only the specific uh, payment method. The next we can filter by status, see which are active, cancelled. Uh, the frequency which subscriptions are being paid annually or monthly and uh, the last uh, filter we have is the month each month we have uh, subscriptions to be paid and the every month option now each filter table here has two icons at the top one once I click an option one is the clear filter button which it will clear my filters you see once I once I click on a, um, on a filter option let's say PayPal here it will leave the PayPal highlighted and the rest are white meaning that they are not active and it also gives me the option to clear my filters The next button here is if we want to select multiple options. So how to use this? You click on this button, multi-select. And currently they are on, they are, all of them are selected. So if we want, for instance, to show only the Revolut card and the PayPal payment method, we have to unclick, unselect the other two. So this is gone. And this is gone. So now only Revolut card and PayPal are being selected. And if we want to clear the filters, we hit clear. So let's explain this one more time and uh, let's do it with the months. Let's say I want to see what I will have to pay in February. So basically, if I only select February, it will show me only the subscriptions that I have selected February and it's not showing me the every month subscriptions. So what we have to do is click on the multi select and unselect everything else except February and every month. Let's see our table how it looks. So here it is. It is only showing me my February, my annual subscriptions which occur every February and all my every month subscriptions. We also need to clear out the cancelled subscriptions. We don't want to see them cancelled. So back at our filters, I will uh, choose to select only the active ones. So in our table now, we are seeing our annually subscriptions that occur in February and every month and are also active. So the total of the subscriptions I am paying in February is 108.35 cents, which is also displayed in our table. So let's go ahead and clear all our filters, clear the status and clear our renewal month. Let's input a new entry. For example, today I signed up 
into a new service for Canva. This is a design. This is a design uh, service. The URL is canva.com. I signed up today, 29th of uh, January 24, and uh, I chose to pay the subscription with PayPal. This is a monthly payment, and I'm paying on the 28th of every month since it's a monthly subscription and I'm paying the amount of 11 euro and 99 cents let's make it 12 this is an active subscription and as soon as I click active the totals appear here and it's uh, it's you know on uh, auto renewal so this is how you enter a new subscription entry the table it's uh, self-expanding as soon as you start typing at the bottom the table will uh, auto expand so once you get the feel of how the filters are being used you can see this is a very powerful spreadsheet you can have all your subscriptions in one place know which payment methods you are using for each have an idea which payment methods are uh, to expire so you can go in and uh, update your payment methods how much you're paying each month and have a clear picture of your total annual and monthly costs so you can uh, make some uh, savings if needed and uh, once more this uh, Excel tool is available to purchase from our online store. I have included the link in the description below. That's it for now. I hope you found this uh, video helpful.